Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. Today we're going to do a guided meditation on freedom. Over the past week, many of us have been sitting with a lot of very strong thoughts and feelings about how our freedom has been compromised. And I just wanted, you know, for us to pay attention for a moment, you know, really reflect on what's going on in our bodies and our minds, maybe some fears, you know, coming up, whatever it is, whatever thoughts and feelings, which tend to ebb and flow, just to be mindful and pay attention to them. And take this moment for yourself to just relax your body, relax your mind, and tap into our personal freedom and the importance it holds for each of us. So if you feel comfortable enough, you could sit up straight and close your eyes and just take this moment Take this precious moment to just be in present awareness, sitting here, hearing the sound of my voice, noticing your body being strongly planted in your seat if you're laying down and notice your breath the inhalation and exhalation notice if there's any thoughts going through your mind the quality of your thoughts it could be very racing fast paced thoughts it could be very slow and relaxed and tap into what freedom means for you try to come up with a definition if you were to define freedom what that means what that looks like what image automatically comes to your mind when you think of your freedom and just allow it to enter the room and be here with us as you're thinking about this freedom if it's bringing up any thoughts or feelings you might be thinking about something that's very individual to you close to your heart it could be something more global Whatever it is, again, just keep it in your mind's eye. And notice if the thoughts are ebbing and flowing. You may have multiple thoughts and feelings about it. And allow it to just be. May feel a sense of pride and joy. You also may feel a sense of fear and worry. And without judgment, just allow it to be here. Just noticing it. Kahil Gibran states, 
life without liberty is like a body without spirit. And Herbert Hoover states, freedom is the open window through which pours the sunlight of the human spirit and human dignity. words, whether you resonate with those words, or there are others. And Nelson Mandela says, for to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. So when you're thinking of your personal freedom, are you including others in your definition? Or are you thinking about it individually? And just again, notice what's coming up for you. Abraham Lincoln says, no man is good enough to govern another man without his consent. Maybe it brings up frustration of having to give up freedom because of being told we need to. John F. Kennedy says, the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. John Lennon says, tame birds sing of freedom, wild birds fly. And Fanny Lou Hammer says, nobody's free until everyone is free. definition includes the freedom of all, of all human beings, preserving the dignity, the essence of our humanity. says, nothing is more difficult and therefore more precious than to be able to decide. Be able to have choice. gets evoked when we think about giving up our choice, not having choice. And maybe taking a moment to have gratitude for the choices that we do have. experienced a loss and we could hold both sets of feelings in each hand gratitude for those rights and choices we do have and 
also may be sadness, frustration, disappointment for those we don't. And just to be with it all, right here, right now, in the present moment.